What's up fellow gamers? This is Brandon from Top10Gamer.com. Today we're going to look at five top rated LED monitors that you should definitely consider for PC gaming. Okay, so we already have a write-up on the website that talks about this particular subject and in it we take a look at how much you can save if you switch to an LED monitor which has LED backlighting versus that old CCFL monitor that you have. Uh, basically, I'm not going to go through the calculation here. If you want to, you can see it in the website um, link below. But basically, you can save around $15 a year per monitor. Now, if you're like me and you have about four monitors running, four or five monitors running at the same time, that's about $75 savings per year. Considering LED monitors are really not that much more expensive than your common um, TNT CCFL LCD monitors, seems like it's a pretty smart way to go. So anytime we're talking about gaming, I want to definitely take into consideration speed and responsiveness first. And if there weren't any LED monitors on the market that were equal to the older LCDs, then we wouldn't even be having this discussion. For me, I'd rather spend the $15 more a year and go with the, the monitor that takes up more energy simply so that I have a bigger advantage in the FPS games that I play. Okay, so for, before I get into my picks, I wanted to take a look at a few terms, some monitor specifications that you guys are probably already familiar with that uh, people refer to when they're talking about gaming monitors. The first is response time, which is basically the time that it takes from a pixel to go from black to white and back again. Now, when monitors list their response time, generally they put GTG. This stands for gray to gray. So in order to improve response times, manufacturers often list their gray to gray response times. You know, I if you have a very low response time, you'll notice additional motion blurring, some ghosting, some issues like that. I found that any monitor about 5 ms or less, I mean, they've got monitors out there with 1 ms response times. But I can't tell too much of a difference between 1, 2, and 3. Anything 5 ms or less is perfectly fine as far as response time is concerned. And there are a lot of people who'd rather purchase an IPS monitor with an 8 or 12 ms response time just for the better picture. So it's not something that's going to affect your gaming in a super huge way, uh, so much so that you have to go out of your way to find a monitor that's specifically built with a 2MS response time. Most of the monitors we're going to list in this particular um, video will have a 2MS or so response time or less, but uh, if you have another monitor that you personally like that has a little bit higher response time, don't make that a complete game changer for you. Okay, another important term that's probably the most important when it comes to a gaming monitor, especially if you play a time-sensitive game a genre like uh, FPS, RTS, a fighting style genre where time-sensitive, where a millisecond can make the difference between life and death, input lag is probably the most important uh, term when it comes to these types of things. Now, it's important to know, if you don't have a CRT monitor, if you're using an LCD monitor, television, whatever, then you have some level of input lag. The older CRTs, those are considered zero MS input lag. Now, what is input lag? Input lag is basically the lag, of the difference in time between when I push a button on my keyboard or my mouse and you can see it on the screen. Okay, so the last important term that we're going to talk about is refresh rate. Refresh rate is basically the amount of times that the data is drawn on your screen. For a 60 hertz refresh rate, for example, that means the frames on your screen are drawn 60 times. 120? 120 times. Going with 120 hertz refresh rate makes everything smoother, clearer. You especially notice that when you're moving windows around on your screen, does it make you better at gaming? You know, that's ultimately up to you. For me personally, it hasn't helped that much, but there's a lot of people out here that are advocates of having that 120 hertz refresh rate. It's just like gaming and trying to get your game above 60 frames per second. Hey, if you can hit above 100 FPS, that's the best thing that you can do. Will it help you? Yeah, probably a little bit. So if you want to stretch a little bit, get 120 hertz refresh rate, then that's great. 
Okay, so number five on our list is going to be a monitor that's very familiar to a lot of you. It's the Next Generation Evo monitor, the Evolution Fighting Tournament monitor. We're all familiar with the ASUS VHT236H, which was used in all those Evolution Fighting Tournaments. But you can also get an LED equivalent in the VE, sorry, VH238H, which has the same panel, okay, so same input lag as the VH236H, same input lag, same response time, all of it wrapped up in a nice 23-inch mo LED monitor that's great for gaming. Okay, so number four on our list is a monitor you might not have heard of yet. It's the Samsung 700 Series S23A700D. This is an unbelievable monitor. The picture on it is, is crystal clear. It's probably the best option in terms of picture, low input lag, Ref, you know, high refresh rate monitor out there. Um, with 120 hertz refresh rate, you get double the data drawn. It's super smooth. Um, the, the 3D is pretty good. I don't know if you guys have tried 3D before, but uh, uh, 3D Vision 2 from NVIDIA is, is a great technology and it works really well. When you use the 3D conversion technology, you actually get uh, higher input lag levels. So, um, you know, I, I just use these type of monitors. If it were me, um, I'd use these type of uh, 3D monitors for 2D gaming. Get the 120 hertz refresh rate, super low 2ms response time, and I have a, an official input lag number here. I, it's under one frame. It's about 10 to 11 ms input lag. So overall, this is an unbelievable monitor. It's a little bit pricier than your normal TNT 60 hertz panel, but you know what? It may be worth it for some that are just trying to get that little edge over someone else or just want something that really looks and feels great. Okay, so for monitors uh, 3 and 2, we're going to look at two BenQ models that are used in Major League Gaming. The first one is model uh, RL2450HT, used specifically for PC gaming tournaments. And the second one is the BenQ GL2450HM, which is used for console tournaments. The 2450HT was actually designed by a StarCraft II team, has some great uh, options in terms of uh, preset screens and what you have available, has a low 2MS response time and under one half of one frame of input lag. The 2450HM, I don't have the official input lag uh, numbers, but I'm sure it's under one frame. All of the ones that BenQ has released that are related to gaming have been this way, and they're made by gamers, so you can pretty much assume that it's going to be under that uh, one input lag, uh, one frame input lag number. Um, I'll also have a post down below. There's a great forum thread that lists a ton of uh, monitors that are below that one frame input lag you guys can go take a look at. I'll put that in below. But as far as the 20, uh, the GL2450HM is concerned, it has a 1MS response time. Looks great out of the gate uh, for console games like Call of Duty, Halo 4, other ones you might be playing. One other quick difference I wanted to mention before we go on to our next monitor between these two monitors is that one that's built for PC gaming has your height, swivel, tilt, adjustment uh, and pivot adjustment whereas the one made for console gaming only has tilt adjustment in the, in the stand. So if you're considering one to use for both PC gaming and console gaming then keep that in mind. For our last two monitors we're going to consider the BenQ XL2420TX and the XL2420T. They only have a slight difference between the two of them. I'm just going to read this from my website so that I don't mess it up. Uh, basically the XL2420TX has the built-in 3D transmitter while the XL2420T lacks 3D Vision HDMI support. So if you're thinking about uh, getting one or the other then that's the basic difference between the two. Overall, you get an amazing monitor, below 2MS response time, 120 hertz refresh rate, uh, 3D2 technology from NVIDIA, and overall, these monitors uh, have super low input lag. They have about 7.9 MS input lag. That's under one half of one frame. Some of the best gaming monitors available. As far as picture is concerned, I wouldn't put it up to par with uh, the ASUS uh, models that uh, that I mentioned earlier, but at the same time, 
some of those presets are made so that you can you know they have the black equalizer so that you can actually see things better while you're gaming so if you do some calibration on these monitors then you can get almost just as good of a picture okay so that's the end of our top five I also wanted to mention even though it ended up more like eight or nine maybe even ten monitors I'm not even sure but some of them were were close enough that I just wanted to put them in the same category uh, one other monitor you want to take a look at is the uh, XL 2720T which was recently released at the IEM World Championship the Intel Express Masters Championship great monitor great 27 inch monitor if you're looking for a low input lag low response time a uh, high refresh rate monitor in the 27 inch category then go with the BenQ XL 2720T. Okay so that's it for my LED gaming monitor list. I'm sure a few of you have difference of a, differences of opinion or something to share. Please feel free to use the comment section below. I come constantly checking my inbox for messages and as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to me. We're going to have some great reviews coming up on mechanical keyboards, some desktop gaming cases that you guys should definitely consider for your builds. Again, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, and I'll see you later.